Tracking is from Tamil Nadu. Something is going horribly wrong there with three more political murders coming to light in just the last 24 hours. This is concerning because four such murders and attacks have already rocked the state, making it seven murders of politicians in the state in one month. Opposition parties have slammed the deteriorating law and order situation in the state even as DMK cited NCRB data to say that crimes have actually reduced in their term. So, more politicians being killed in broad daylight, most of them being hacked to death? Is the government failing citizens? Let's take that across to our guest joining us. Salim Dharanidharan, spokesperson of the DMK, Kovai Satyan from the AIA DMK and Suman C. Raman, author and political analyst are joining us. I do thank you for your patience and uh, my apologies for a truncated uh, debate today because of certain developing issues in the national capital. Salim, I'll give you the first opportunity. What is going on in Tamil Nadu? This is not about historical data alone. This is just about the fact that in one month, seven people connected to politics in the state have been hacked to death. Yes, I will uh, speak. I don't want to be interrupted. So first and foremost, before I go into the nitty gritty, as per the NCRB data, there are 501 murders per annum in Delhi by far the highest in India with a crime density of 20,000, 40 times higher than Indian average. Right? Law and order in Delhi comes under Union Home Minister. Why aren't anyone asking questions to Amit Shah about this? Point one. And again, as a Union Government data for 2023, Uttar Pradesh had highest number of crime, 3,400, Bihar 2,930, Maharashtra 2,995, Madhya Pradesh 2,000, Rajasthan to approximately 2,000. And nearly all the states come under BJP. And 43, these states contribute 44% of the total murder cases in the country. Hmm. Total about what? About, uh, uh, about 13,000 of the 28,000 murders we've had in the country last year. So why aren't you asking questions? I know these incidents in Tamil Nadu are unfortunate, should not happen. I'm not justifying anything. Hmm. But what I'm trying to say, why is that when it happens in Tamil Nadu, it becomes a national use and being portrayed okay. to show that Tamil Nadu's law and order is bad? But why if it happens in other parts? I have showed you data, 50% of the murders nearly have happened in BJP rule state and they are in the top five. All the BJP rule states okay. are listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the top five states for uh, highest number of murders. Why isn't that becoming a okay. national issue? You know, as far as the murders? national capital is concerned, actually crime in the national capital gets discussed a lot and it has earned epithets that it wouldn't like to earn. In UP, for example, for a very long time, it has been known as a lawless state. Nobody really passed the buck on that. It was the reality. It was accepted, debated and discussed. Kovai, is that enough to say that Tamil Nadu is still better than other states? Yeah, good evening. At the outset, we pass on our deepest condolences to the three innocent lives lost the aspiring UPSC students, our prayers for them, for mm -hmm. the departed soul. Yeah, the list is read out because uh, Salem Dharnidharan is passing on a message that we are fast catching it. We are still lagging behind. Mm -hmm. But see UP, see the other states, they are far ahead of us, we are fast catching it. And we will ensure that we will catch up with these numbers in other two years of regime, whatever is left out. There is a total failure of the entire ecosystem. The state has become a lawless state. In a broad daylight, a political functionary is being murdered and the people who are associated are from political parties and then the blame game starts. What is required is, as a person heading the state and heading the police, you have to come out and see tangible actions and install confidence in the minds of the people, which unfortunately the incompetent MK7 is not able to do so. Hmm. With, with not one murder, with repeated murders. Our party functionary is tipping the police about the drug peddling of a DMK functionary and the next day he is murdered in the broad daylight. Last year a journalist tipped the police on the drug mm. peddling. While he was on the phone call with the police, he was murdered. And this is not isolated incident or sporadic incidences. These have become incidences in an hour, in a two hours or three hours gap. And every day we see murders, four or five murders happening in the entire Tamil Nadu. There is a severe breakdown of law and order. Okay. And just by numbers look at the nearby state look at the other state people have chosen you yeah. to hit the state and put law and order in place would okay. you want to have a comparison with another state Some... mk sal is the chief minister of tamil nadu he yeah. has he is accountable his incompetence cannot be causing big for a common man who is living in fear in tamil nadu Salim, uh, I'll just give you an opportunity to respond to that. The problem is that we don't associate Tamil Nadu with this. 
but there is a pattern that is emerging and regardless of the action that the state government or the police may be taking it seems like there are elements who are unafraid very quickly salim i have 20 seconds left you see which is uh, not true as i said the, the 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 crime rate in tamil nadu has reduced and deteriorated of course these incidences are unfortunate and should not have happened but we also have to consider the fact that the law and order in tamil nadu and the institution was degraded between 2016 to 21 which we we, we have been improving every day which is why the law and also improving and most of these murders are not politically motivated all nearly all these murders are personal vendetta but of course even these things should have been controlled and which is what we are doing which is okay. why the crime rates and the murder rates in the state are reducing but to pinpoint and show that uh, the tamil nadu's law and order is really bad tamil nadu is a lawless society i think it's an insult and bjp is trying to propagate this to uh, to destroy tamil nadu's image in fact uh, all right. congress the chief has showed bjp has recruited 1700 people with uh, with uh, police cases and uh, gundas about 200 361 people with gundas act on them have been recruited uh, by bjp in fact the okay, but BJP yours the state government and the law and order comes under you so you are free to act if somebody is hiring gundas in your state all right i've run out of time i do thank you once again for your patience and for joining us